Hi curl friends, I am Sarah and welcome back to my channel Curl to Curl where I share all my curl tips for all my curl friends using money, curious about money, and for market partners who want to help their customers with curly hair. Today I'm going to show you step by step how to get started styling your curly hair using money products. This video is really going to just show you all the basics, all the things you may not know. Maybe you have just started embracing your curls. Maybe you have been wearing your hair curly for a long time, but you have had zero strategy and now you are starting your journey with money and you want to make sure you're doing everything right to make sure you're getting the best use of these products. So I am going to give you some universal tips in this video on how you should be styling your curly hair for the best results. All right, so the very first thing is you want to make sure that your hair is nice and wet before you apply any styling products. So I usually like to get right out of the shower and get right to styling, but sometimes I cannot do that because I take a shower and then I have to do something else. I wash my hair and then I have to go uh, tend to something else in my house. So even if I am not styling right after, I get my hair wet as if I just got out of the shower. So you want your hair to be not like dripping wet, soaking wet, but you want it really, really wet more than damp. And so if you get out of the shower and it's still not wet enough, you can stick it back in the sink. But if it's almost there and you just have some dry spots, you can use a spray bottle. I like this continuous spray, spray bottle. I just got it off of Amazon and get your hair wet. It's really important that your hair is nice and wet, not damp before applying your styling products. So the very first styling product that you're gonna wanna apply, most curlies are gonna need a leave-in conditioner. And if you haven't watched my video on picking out styling products, be sure you go in and do that. But for most people, we're gonna start out with just a leave-in conditioner and a styler. That's the bare minimum that I recommend to curly girls getting started on my neat, a shampoo and a conditioner a leave-in conditioner and a styling product. And that's actually really my routine. Sometimes I add like a hairspray and of course I add like heat protectant spray, but my two go-to styling products still to this day are our Restore Leave-In Conditioner and our Moxie Mix. So your first step after your hair is wet is going to be to apply your leave-in conditioner. So I'm using, I'm using our Restore Leave-In Conditioner um, and I have a lot of hair, so I do several pumps and then I rub it together and you're just going to apply your leave-in conditioner with your hands at first. Always apply your leave-in conditioner, just like your conditioner, start at the ends and just go halfway up your hair to like the mid shaft here. You don't need to go any higher. You don't need to get your roots because you don't want too much leave-in conditioner or regular conditioner up there because it can weigh down your hair. And once you apply the leave-in conditioner, you're gonna be detangling your hair again. So in the process of detangling your hair, you're gonna bring up some of that leave-in conditioner up to the top. So the top part of your hair is still gonna get leave-in conditioner. It's just not gonna get as much as the ends and the ends need a lot more because they are dry. They've been around on your head longer. Um, so they need more leave-in conditioner. All right, so after you are done detangling your hair, you want to check again to make sure your hair is wet enough. I still feel a few dry spots in my hair, so I'm going to go ahead and get my hair a little bit more wet and the water, my hair is actually gonna absorb the water better now that it has a leave-in conditioner, but I'm gonna get it a little wet again before I apply my styler. All right, so my hair is feeling nice and wet now. Now I feel comfortable applying my styler. I feel like my hair is wet enough. I don't feel any really dry spots. 
This is really, really important to make sure that your hair is wet before you apply products. And depending on your hair type, um, it may take more work to make sure that it is wet throughout the entire process. Okay, so I'm gonna apply my Moxie Mousse. And same thing as a leave-in conditioner, I'm gonna start from the ends and I'm going to apply that into my hair. So whether you're using mousse or gel or curl cream, you're still gonna apply it in the same way I'm applying during this step. You'll apply your leave-in conditioner and then your one styler. If you did get a curl cream or some other kind of cream plus a mousse or a gel, you'll wanna apply the cream first and then the mousse or the gel. Okay, so now my leave-in conditioner is in and my styler is in. Now it's time to actually start styling my hair. Some people would just stop at that step, but if you want curl definition and if you want volume, you can't just stop after you apply your products. You need to have some kind of strategy for styling your hair. So my two favorite methods for styling hair are both brush styling and finger coiling. Sometimes I do a combination of both. Today I'm gonna quickly show you how to brush style because it's much more simple than finger coiling when you're getting started. And I will do a separate video showing you how to finger coil. But in both methods, when you are starting to style your hair, you need to work in sections. So you can't just start brushing your hair and expect to have good results. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clip my hair. I am gonna be working from the bottom to the top. So again, here we are with the sections. And again, more water. <laughs> you can never like forget this step. You wanna make sure your hair is nice and wet when you start styling. Now you're styling in sections. This bottom part of your hair could be tangly, so you're gonna detangle again. And I'm just gonna share the basics with brush styling. You always want to go out. You don't wanna just be brushed. So if you just brush down with a brush, your curls are gonna dry flat and you're not gonna have a lot of volume. So you wanna always be brushing away from your scalp. I like to shake out the curls and then scratch them. And that's basically what I do for every section of my hair when I am brush styling. I just realized I didn't really explain what brushes I'm using. So this um, easy detangling brush I've been using since the beginning of the video. This is the brush I use in the shower when I'm detangling with conditioner. It's also the brush I use when I'm initially applying my styling products to brush through, but I do not use this brush as a styler because it's not designed for that. It's just designed for detangling. Um, another brush, that I use that I haven't pulled on video yet is our Tangle Teaser. This one is actually really good for detangling or for brush styling. So if you don't have a good brush already and you just wanna buy one, you could get this because it's good at detangling, but you could also use it in replacement of the Denman brush for styling as well. So you could use it for both. Um, I like to use the Denman brush, it's my favorite styler. And so this is the third and final brush I own, and I use this for actually styling. I also put a lot of tension in my hair when I'm styling it, and then like I explained before, I shake and scratch.
All right, so now you see my hair is actually styled. Hopefully you can see a difference from right after I just applied my styling products and had just finger combed that through. Now I have intentionally defined my curls using the Denman brush. What you're looking for before you start drying your hair is that you have curl clumps. Curl clumps are clumps of hair clumped together and curls are forming. You wanna have minimal frizz. If you have lots of frizz at this point, don't expect that frizz to go away once you dry. So you definitely wanna work on getting rid of the frizz before you start drying. Now, if you're just starting your money journey, your hair may still be frizzy in the beginning because your hair is still damaged and you are just getting started on the journey of healing your hair from the inside out but we are looking for minimal frizz during this portion. If you have a lot of frizz, like if there's a part that's frizzy, you can try finger coiling it. You can try re-wetting it and re-brush styling it. Okay, so after I have um, defined the curls, I actually like to add a little more of my styler, which in my case is my mousse, and I like to flip my head upside down to do this to give myself some volume. So I am just gonna pulse in a little bit more mousse to get a little extra hold. And I'm doing this upside down to give it more volume. I wanna shake my curls off my roots because I like a lot of volume. I'm gonna flip it back over. All right, so the next step is going to be to dry your hair. And I highly encourage all people with curly hair to invest in a diffuser. Diffusing your hair has so many benefits, such as giving you volume. It's going to actually, if you use it right, give you less frizz. I know some people think that diffusing your hair makes it more frizzy, but it really makes it less if you're using it properly because you are drying your hair faster and that gives it less time to get frizzy. You're gonna um, seal in the cast, which is the hold that your styling products give. So there really are a lot of benefits of diffusing and I highly re recommend that for everyone. <laughs> This is the final product. My hair still needs to air dry just a little bit, but I diffused it like 95% of the way dry. Um, so those are my tips for getting started styling your curly hair with Monheat products. So to recap, first, when you get out of the shower, you wanna make sure your hair is super wet before you apply any styling products. Then you wanna apply your leave-in conditioner and then you wanna brush that in, and then you wanna apply your styler, and throughout those steps, if your hair is feeling dry or damp in any areas, you want to re-wet that with a spray bottle, and then after you have applied your styling products, you want to actually style your hair, either through brush styling or finger coiling, and then after that, you want to diffuse your hair. And those are the steps for getting started styling your curly hair with your money products. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And thanks so much and see you next time.